What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to another video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and click that tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel and also click that like button and give me a thumbs up. So as usual my people, may have some things I'm going to share with you guys. So the first thing I'm going to share, Manfred in Klangsman, Wandan Gang Trial, SHOT dead in police confrontation. Khalifa Williams, who was freed in the recent Klansman Wandan Gang trial, was shot and killed by the police during an operation in Winterspen in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, yesterday. Williams, also known as Baba, was in custody between 2017 and earlier this year. It is reported that about 3.15 p.m., police personnel went into the Winterspen area in search of gun drugs and wanted men it is alleged that Williams fired gunshots at the team as they entered the community. The police reportedly took evasive action and fired back at their attacker. When the shooting subsided, it was revealed at, um, that Williams was it. He was later pronounced at the Spanish Town Hospital. The Independent Commissioner of Investigation is investigating the matter. During the Wandan trial, Williams, who the prosecution had described as a top shooter, in the Spanish town BS gang told the court that he never owned a firearm. He never owned or fired a gun. He also denied being a contract K I L L E R for the gang. Chief Justice Brian Sykes, who presided over the trial, acquitted Williams, saying the evidence against him was unreliable. Some 15 members of the gang, including leader Andre Blackman Bryan, was later convicted. William is the latest person linked to the trial to be K-I-L-L. -L. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Bartender dies in St. James crash. The St. James police have launched an investigation into the cause of a crash that claimed the life of a man in Albi and Montego Bay on Saturday morning. The deceased has been identified as Leon Lewis, a bartender of the St. James address. According to reports about 6 a.m., Lewis was traveling in a Toyota Vitz motor car along the Albion Main Road when it collided with a Toyota Axio motor car. The individuals traveling in both vehicles sustained injuries and were rushed to hospital for treatment. Lewis later succumbed to his injuries while the others were admitted in serious condition. So my people, on a take time and drive on the road. May I beg on a please, on a take time and drive. You see what I say? Take time and drive. It better you reach late than never. If you have somewhere far figure, leave out from early and take your time and go on on the road. Take time and drive. Not because the speedometer go 180 and 2, 220 and over. That no means so you have to push it to the limit. You see me I say? Take time and drive. So we are going to move on, people. So that one is breaking news, right? Three shot two fatally in Greek Park um, in a Portmore. Two men were gunned down and another injured in Greg Park, St. Catherine, on Saturday night. The deceased have been identified as Cedric Crooks, 46, also known as Gungo, and 47 year old Michael Manley, also known as Bada Bada, both of the same address. Reports are that three men were at a bar in the area when they were pounced upon by a lone gunman who opened fire at them. Crooks and Manley reportedly both received gunshot to the head and the other man was SHOT in the chest. The suspect escaped in the area on foot. The police were summoned and the men were taken to hospital where Crooks and Manley were pronounced. The other man was admitted in serious but stable condition. The police have not yet released a motive for the KILLING. Senior Superintendent Phillips says... Lawmen have maintained a strong presence in the area and are disappointed that this incident has occurred. We will not allow criminals to disrupt the peace for the rest of the year, especially those that are looking forward to a peaceful holiday, he told our news team. So, people, let me know what you guys think. In the comments, careful out there, especially 
now that the holiday are come up you see me i say be careful out there so we are gonna move on people so both capsize at strawberry fields search and rescue underway <coughs> The strawberry field attraction in Robins Bay, St. Mary, was the scene of a frantic rescue effort Saturday afternoon as a boat with several young adults capsized. Our news team was informed by an eyewitness that shortly after the boat came to shore on a side of the beach, it was overtaken by a massive wave that carried the vessel into the ocean. A man aboard a smaller vessel known as a kayak attempted to rescue people on the boat, but he too encountered difficulties due to the strong waves and choppy waters. According to the eyewitness, the ocean was extremely rough and this contributed to the tragedy. At this moment, it is uncertain how many people were on aboard the vessel, which later discovered close to another section of the shore. Meanwhile, the eyewitness further told our news team that one of the passengers who was aboard the vessel that capsized was seen clutching a rock. Another person who was rescued appeared shocked and dazed. As part of the rescue efforts, a Jamaica Defense Force helicopter visited the scene. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section and we are going to move to another crash where happened people in a Trilani. Seeing two women on way to funeral K-I-L-L -L, in Trelawney crash. Two women on their way to a funeral were K-I-L-L -L, and five persons hospitalized following a three-car collision along the Bracco uh, main road in Trelawney yesterday afternoon. The deceased were traveling in a white Toyota Isis which was reportedly overtaking a line of traffic when it ran into a Kia Sportage near the gates of the farmer Melia Bracco Hotel. Jaja, boy, may I tell you, people, them driver, yeah, them love over overtake. And when you see line of traffic, people, do not try overtake a line of traffic because most of the time with these traffic, when it's a long line of vehicle, them bumper to bumper, you can't cut in if something come. So if something will come upon a high speed and you overtake upon a high speed, you can't break up and cut in. You have to hope say, boy, the person will come now come upon a high speed and can just take your bank in and make you go on. You understand? So anybody we are try to grow in a line of traffic with you, please tell them not do it. You know what I mean? Another car was hit by the ISIS. However, um, those occupants were not injured. The two women were on their way to a funeral in Jacksonton, Trelawney when the crash occurred. The police say this was the third motor vehicle crash in the parish since 5 a.m. yesterday. You see me I say? Um, people, it look like say the section of the road there, our accident prone area. You know what I mean? And you can't grow on a line of traffic bridging unless it's a straight road and you can see the vehicle way forward so you know when to kind of break up. You know what I mean? And try to get a little big to cut in at the line of traffic. Because as I say, line of traffic are mostly bumper to bumper. You know what I mean? So I want you to tell me what you think in the comment section, people. Like and subscribe. Bless up on yourself and thanks for watching.